Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a gold effect in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by duplicating your background layer. Next, click on the quick selection tool in the toolbar, then hit select subject in the options bar. Use the plus minus brushes to clean up the selection, then click on the add layer mask button. From the new adjustment layer menu, choose solid color. Pick black and drag the color fill layer below the background copy layer. Select the background copy layer, then click on image in the top menu and choose desaturate from the adjustments drop down. Now duplicate the background copy layer and use the control or command I shortcut to invert it. Change the blend mode of this layer to difference. Use the control or command key to select both the background copy layers then right click and click on merge layers. Duplicate the merge layer, then use the control or command I shortcut to invert it and change the blend mode to difference. Just like before, use the control or command key to select both the background copy layers, then right click and click on merge layers. Right click on the merged background copy layer and convert to smart object. From the new adjustment layer menu, choose color lookup. Select the edgy amber preset from the lookup table dropdown. Bring in a curves adjustment layer and change the blend mode to linear dodge. Reduce the opacity to 60% and bring the white slider in the curves window a little bit towards the left. Activate the background copy layer, then click on filter in the top menu and choose oil paint from the stylized dropdown. Enter 5 for stylization, 5 for cleanliness, 0.1 for scale, 0 for bristle detail, and uncheck lighting. This should smoothen out the texture a bit. Next, click on FX and choose Inner Glow. Change the blend mode to Color Dodge and reduce the opacity to 30%. Choose a white color and then click OK to exit. Create a brand new layer and rename it to Glow. Change the blend mode to color dodge, then click on FX and choose blending options. Uncheck transparency shapes layer, which is telling Photoshop to not use transparency as a boundary. Activate the brush tool from the toolbar and make sure the flow is set to 5% and the foreground color is set to white. Now slowly paint over the areas where you would like to add some more glow. Select the color fill layer then create a brand new layer right above it. Rename this layer to Background Glow. Use the foreground color picker to sample a yellow color from the statue. Now slowly paint right outside the statue as per your liking. Reduce the opacity of this layer to 50%. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.